we need to draw some altitudes so that we can find an ortho center. Now again, an altitude is going to be from the vertex straight down. And it's going to hit the side perpendicular. But I can't just kind of, you know, put it there. Um, so I actually have to find a way to do it. Um, again, how do you draw a perpendicular? Well, I draw two circles. Twins. Actually, yeah, they don't have to be twins. But it's always nice. So if I want to draw a perpendicular down here, I got to draw a circle. And I got to draw, you want to draw a twin? We'll draw twins. Twins are always nice. I've got to twin that. It's not going to let me do this. Uh, nope. Because I have to have a dot there to put the twin down. All right. Not a problem. All right. So we did that. Intersect. And draw that line. Awesome, we drew a perpendicular, but it's not going to the vertex. Well, if I you know, push it over, it'll go to the vertex, right? Almost. So it's got to you know, move it over farther, right? Well, the point is, I got to figure out where to put these two twins. Actually, we use a circle to find where to put those two twins. Now, again, it, it's going to help if you have colors to uh, do this. So you can do certain circles in these colors and others in these. But So we need one big circle. And, again, we had to put the two circles down here. So this circle from up here has to reach all the way down here. It's got to hit down there twice. So notice how it's hitting here, here, and it's also hitting over here. So we need that to happen. If you want, you can have it hit the corner. That's fine. That'd be fewer dots on your drawing. Okay. So there's that circle. So that's going to tell us where to draw the other circles. So we draw twin circles, one there and one over here because they will be they will be right in the middle of this and they'll be perpendicular all right time to draw circles they don't have to twin the first one they have to twin each other that's the important part all right so it's got to go more than halfway this drawing is the hardest one because it's going to get confusing because all of the circles are going to overlap each other. Again, why do we draw twins? So we can find intersections. And then we draw lines. Look, we know it's perpendicular because we did two circles. We know it's a bisector here because we did twins. So it's right in the middle of these two dots. Well, right in the middle of those two dots happens to go through that vertex. Yay. We got to do three of those. This is where it gets hard. On paper, it might help you to rotate your paper so that you're always working from up to down. But I can't really do that on a screen so much. Um, I can if I you know, move things. And kind of you know rotate this up kind of thing. Um, you know what I mean? I'm kind of rotating this right side up so I can work up to down. The bad part is that it changes. So just turn your paper so that you went from a up to a down. All right. So now I got to work from here down to this side. So I need one big circle, I'm going to make it a different color, that goes from here all the way down to this side. Again, you can have it hit a corner, and then I need to know where it hits over here, and then I need to draw twin circles, one there, one there. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
and I'd need to twin that. This is the hardest one. Because look at all these circles overlapping. That's why it's good if you have colors. So now, cause now I'm just working on the blue circles. Found where they overlap. Draw a nice blue line. There is another altitude. And there is another, there is one altitude, this black line. So they meet right there, so that better be the ortho center, but we're gonna make sure. And we're gonna draw an altitude from this vertex to this side. I'm not gonna rotate this triangle. I'm just gonna live with it. Um, I don't want blue. Um, come on, give me some good colors. No dice, huh? Let's try again. Circle. Orange. I guess we're going orange. All right, circle here to here. Um, let's go over to this one. I got to show you something. Over to I went over to this dot. Awesome. So it hits the the bottom. It hits this line right here. But it doesn't hit this line anywhere else over here. Well, yeah, it does. You kind of have to understand that this is kind of like a line that goes on forever. So it hits it over here. So here is where I got to draw. So I need a circle here. And I need a twin circle there. And we're drawing orange this time, right? Right. And again, they have to go more than halfway. And I want to twin that circle. Drop it there. I want the intersection of those orange circles. This one's going to take some practice because it's... Uh, it's tough to do. Did I intersect the right circles? No, I intersect. I intersected that. That's the wrong circle to intersect. See, I told you it's going to take some practice. So we want this circle, which is like these two circles. All right. And then, of course, we have to get this back in the screen. So there's orange and orange. There's orange and orange. Here's my orange line coming up. I want to make sure it's solid so you see it. So orange line, blue line, black line all hit right there. That's the ortho center. We're going to have to practice that one. 